This video will help you install your VNS2081 speaker. Before beginning your installation, please make sure to have the following items nearby. A marker, screwdriver, drywall circle cutter, and the included speaker template. The VNS2081 speaker can be installed into a drywall or ceiling tile. This guide will refer to ceiling tile installation only, but drywall installation is similar. When selecting a location to install the speaker, keep in mind that the speaker can be installed up to 150 feet from its wireless controller. Make sure that the selected ceiling area is clear of any electrical and HVAC lines. Remove this selected tile and place it on a flat working surface to avoid damaging the tile. Using the provided speaker template, mark a circle on the ceiling tile. Place the drywall circle cutter in the center of the tray circle and extend it to match the circle radius. Use the drywall circle cutter to make a circular cut in the ceiling tile. Using tweezers or another sharp object, carefully separate the speaker from its face. Make sure not to damage the speaker membrane or face. Place the speaker into the circular hole. Screw in the hinges around the speaker to secure it firmly in place. Reattach the speaker's face back onto the speaker. Attach the speaker wire to the speaker spring terminals. Up to 150 feet of 16 or 18 gauge speaker wire can be used between the speaker and the wireless controller speaker output. Run the other side of the speaker wire all the way to the wireless controller location and install the ceiling tile back in place. On the wireless controller side, use the screwdriver to attach the speaker wire to the modular plug. There are no polarity restrictions. Connect the modular plug into the speaker 1 output. If the wireless controller's second speaker output option is enabled, the plug can also be connected to the speaker 2 output. The installation is done and the speaker is ready to be tested. When testing, if the speaker level needs to be adjusted, it can be done using the level pot on the side of the wireless controller.